sometimes you just need to paint a big cat with obnoxious oversized flowers. And sometimes you need to take a good hard look at your relationship with art and make some adjustments. My relationship with art has changed over the last few years and the sort of icky unsettled feeling in the pit of my stomach around it it's finally gotten loud enough for me to pay some much needed attention to it. This shift in relationship, it can happen. It'll probably happen to you at some point, whether you are a hobbyist or make it your full-time gig. And it'll be tugged on by so many different factors, nudging it bit by bit until it's something new and strange to you. And in my case, something new and something I did not like. But, I'm listening now, and I'm taking gentle steps to nurture it back to life, starting with a big pretty cat with obnoxious oversized flowers. For those who are new here, hey, I'm Danny, wildlife artist obsessed with things that are just a little bit odd and weird, and whose heart gets filled to the brim inside my studio, brush in hand. Or at least it used to. And now I'm making it my mission to bring that love back. For far too long, I have just simply made art my job because for me, it's what pays my bills. And yes, it is my job, but it was starting to just be a job. And what a shame, because this is something that used to bring me life, used to bring me passion and joy. And bit by bit, that kind of felt a little chipped away. And what made me finally realize that there was something wrong and something desperately needed to change was when it started having a really strong impact on my overall mental health. I felt like there was something missing. And hey, guess what? There was art. Art that I love doing, art that brought me that passion and joy and the kind of art that I could just lose myself in for hours, brushstroke after brushstroke, just having fun, playing, bringing things to life. And when I finally realized that little bit of an aha moment, everything changed for me. And I wish I could tell you that, you know, just that awareness alone was enough to change everything, but it definitely was that seed that changed everything. It's still taking me time to take a step back and figure out how can I bring that passion and joy back into things. And I figured the path of least resistance was to paint something that I really love. I kind of sat back and I was like, okay, what do I want to paint? What do I want to paint to start really sinking back in to this process? And the first thing that leapt out to me was big cats. I love painting big cats and specifically big canvases with big cats. Now, over the years, I've found it a little hard to just paint straight realism wildlife. I love weird. I love things that are a little offbeat, a little strange, and that obviously applies to my artwork too. So I ended up pairing these beautiful cats and I do mean cats, there's more to come. But I ended up pairing these cats with really big, oversized, obnoxious flowers. And I love the way these pair together. The struggle is balancing detail and not going overboard. I personally find myself quite bored in the detail phase if I just sink far too deep into it. I love texture, I love that flow. So a big struggle of these paintings that I've been working on, which I say struggle, but it's actually been so much fun, is trying to find that balance between detail and texture, detail and flow, and ultimately merging them together, placing that detail where it needs to be and intuitively knowing that, which comes with a lot of practice, which I find myself out of practice. So getting back into that is a journey all on its own. But just balancing out those big brush strokes, those crazy ones that just add a little something new with that tight, fine detail that you can see me doing right here in the face, adding those teeny tiny little brush strokes to build up that gorgeous fur detail. 
it's a journey and a practice. And to be honest, it's a little hard for me to share this. It feels very vulnerable because to a lot of people, and myself included, I look at a lot of other artists that I admire and I assume they got everything figured out. They know exactly what they're doing 100% of the time and they always know the next step and they always love what they do. But I'm here to tell you that that's not always the reality. But it doesn't have to be final. It doesn't have to be, you know, the end. It can just simply be a step in your story and recognizing when your relationship with artwork changes. Maybe it changes for the better, maybe it changes for the worse, but recognizing that change can be so important for figuring out whether or not you're ready to make a change. And in my case, I very much was ready to make a change. And already I'm feeling that flow again. I'm feeling that positivity. I'm feeling the joy in my studio where I can just put some music on or a podcast on and just sink hours into a painting and have the best time, lose track of time, get in that flow state. And it's shocking to me how much I miss that. And yes, now that I have it again, or I'm stepping back into it, I miss it. I miss and I mourn the time that I didn't spend in that flow state, but it's not too late. I'm recognizing it now and I'm stepping back in. And frankly, I'm really, really happy with the artwork I've been producing now that I'm putting focus on that flow state and happiness in my studio and painting things I love and letting myself sink into that process. Because it's too easy to try to please others, you know, try to appease the algorithm. Maybe we've got one post on social media where it really popped off and people now expect that of you. And hey, you might not like it, but if you keep doing it, there are gonna be negative consequences down the road and it's most likely going to impact how you feel about your art and your practice. So let this be a lesson to others. You can learn from my mistakes and try to find that joy in your practice again. Try to bring something to life and take a good hard look at your relationship with artwork. Maybe it does need a little love and nourishment. And frankly, you deserve that. You deserve to have this beautiful thing called art. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.